how to build a lookalike audience in your Facebook ad account. That's what I'm going to show you in this particular video. I'm going to walk you through step by step exactly how to do it so you don't make any mistakes along the way. So make sure you watch through to the end. And if also if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. All right, let's go dive into my account. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do. So here we are in a live Facebook ad account. This is actually a bit of a dummy account here. And as mentioned, we're going to be building a lookalike audience. So we need to navigate to the audience section in your Facebook ad account. If you click on these, this button here, all tools, that will give us all the tools available to us. And we want to go to the audiences section within our Facebook ad account. And this is the home of all our audiences. This will include our custom audiences, which is people who've engaged with our website or our Facebook page or some kind of uh, video. It will also include our lookalike audiences and, and any saved audiences. So that will be all included in the audience section. Now, lookalike audiences are based on an underlying audience. You can't create a lookalike audience based on any kind of interest targeting. A lookalike audience is only based on a custom audience, okay? So either a custom audience of our website visitors, either a custom audience of people who've engaged with your Facebook or Instagram page, etc. Okay, so if you haven't created those custom audiences first, you need to do so first before you create your lookalike audience, okay? So to create a lookalike audience, we're obviously going to click on this create audience button. And here are the different types of audiences we can create. So we're going to do a lookalike audience. All right. So as mentioned, it needs a source, an audience source. So we click on here. And this is going to give us all the sources that uh, we have within our business manager, actually. So I'm going to choose this all website visitors 180 days. And I'm going to select an audience location. Facebook are actually in the process of rolling out that you don't need an audience location. So if you don't have this in your prompt, then don't worry, because I've actually seen this in some other accounts that I've got access to. Uh, but it, this used to be the default setting. So if you don't see this, don't worry. They've updated it in your account already. So I'm just going to choose maybe like United States, just because that's easy. Cool. And this is where we need to select the size of the audience. Okay, so we've got a range here, which we can just move up and down, which would be this would be a 1% lookalike audience. And we can go all the way up to a 10%. Now a 1% lookalike audience is the smallest size. So it's a 1% of the population of whatever country that I have chosen. Okay, and this is going to be the most tightly related audience based on the source. All right. So as we scroll this up to be either two, three, four, or even up to 10% look sized lookalike audience, the effectiveness and how cl closely matched that lookalike audience is, is going to be diluted. Okay. So the 1% lookalike audience is really the most closely related and the most highly concentrated based on the data points. Uh, and so usually that it's the best performing audience, but it's also the smallest in size. So this is this trade off. I suggest you start with a 1% lookalike audience if you're just starting out with lookalike audiences. And what you might find is you run that 1% lookalike for a while. And then, you know, the frequency metric gets a bit high. So then you need to go out further to two, three, and maybe four or five percent lookalikes. OK, so that's how easy it is to create a lookalike audience. And we click create audience. And there we can see it has been created. It's not quite um, it says below a thousand. So it's not actually ready yet, uh, but you know, it usually takes um, a few hours, maybe even 24 hours in order to be ready. And then you can use that audience to uh, create your ad. We can also create a lookalike audience based on uh, post engagement. So once again, we just go lookalike audience. We're going to uh, select our source. And we can scroll to find uh, some kind of post engagement. And we just go through exactly the same process, which is a location. And then we can click create audience. 
I'm not going to do that. So you can go ahead and create as many lookalike audiences as you like. And I highly recommend using them because they are very effective. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more traffic videos.